Hi, this is Darlene from HerViewPhotography.com. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom presets. If you've never used presets before, they are a very handy little tool. I use them a lot in the develop module particularly, which is where we're going to talk about today. So you can apply effects to your pictures with a click of a mouse button really simply and use several of them on top of each other. So what we're going to walk through is several steps in presets. Importing them, so if you've acquired some presets from somewhere, whether you've purchased them or found them on the internet or a friend shared them with you, how to get them into Lightroom. We're going to look at how to use them, how to make your own, and then how to even export them and share them with a friend. Okay, so let's start with getting them into Lightroom. If you've acquired some presets, the first thing you want to do is get them into Lightroom. Now, I am on a Mac, so I'm going to be obviously demonstrating with Mac, but I'll tell you where to find these things on the PC as well. So under your Lightroom menu on a Mac, you want to find Preferences. If you are on a PC, it's going to be under your Edit menu. And when this dialog box pops up, if you're not already on the second tab, which is Presets, you may be on another one, just click Presets to get here. And then halfway through about the middle section you see a little thing that says show Lightroom presets folder. When we click on that it's going to pop up your either your finder window if you're on a Mac or your Windows Explorer if you are on a PC. Okay? So what this is showing us is this is where my Lightroom presets live. Okay, I'm just going to expand that for you. Okay. Inside here there are many different subfolders. Today we're going to be doing develop presets, so this is the folder in question that we're going to want to make note of. Okay, so all you want to do is have that active, open another finder window or Windows Explorer window, navigate to where your downloaded presets are. Okay, I've just put mine on my desktop. Okay. Now make sure that you're inside the actual folder where they live. Okay, so I don't want this top folder because they aren't here, these are subfolders, it's not going to import right. Make sure that you are one up from where your actual your actual presets live and the file name for them is LR template, that's the extension. Okay, So if you have those you know you've got the right things. And then you just simply grab this whole folder, and we're going to drop it into develop. Okay? Make sure you don't drop it inside one of the other subfolders because they'll get nested. Okay? Then we're going to go back, I've got one more grab this one and do the same thing. Okay, So now that you, you can see they are inside this develop preset folder. Okay? Let's hop back to Lightroom and okay? close our preferences dialog box. In order for them to show up you actually have to quit Lightroom and relaunch it. So go ahead and do that. If you're prompted to back up your catalog just ignore it for this time. We want it to just relaunch quickly. Okay, So we're going to quit it and then we're going to relaunch it again. Okay? Once your catalog opens up and you can see your photos, we'll go into the develop module and you will be able to see that the templates have indeed imported and we will be able to use them. Okay, so here we are. Uh, now we are in the develop module. Okay. Over here you can see under our presets tab, if your presets is not open on the left hand side, just click the little triangle on the left and it will pull it down. Okay, so you can see the two that we imported were Craft and Vision Dalnia presets and Craft and Vision Dushman Lightroom presets. Okay, so these are ones that I just got from Craft and Vision and we're going to take them for a test drive today and see how they work on some images. Okay. These are a great little set of presets. If you do want to purchase some, um, they come with instructions on how to install them and they come with instructions on what they look like and how the various uh, presets will apply to your images. Okay. So let's just have a look inside. All right, so the first thing you want to notice about presets, there's another triangle. So anytime you see a triangle that's pointing to the right, it means that there's something else inside of it. So if you click it, it pulls it down the stuff inside and opens it up. Right? Now the neat thing about presets is that if you hover your mouse over it, notice my thumbnail on the top left changes. Right? So it's basically showing what this effect is going to do. Right? So you can really quickly scroll through and see if it's an effect that you might like to apply. Right? So I find that this one here, Washed Vintage number 2, 
looks kind of neat on this picture. It looks kind of retro 70s. Okay. Uh, if we want to try another preset, we can just continue and scroll down. There's toning, uh, changing the sky color, desaturated. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Oh, golden looks nice. Okay. So this is a very warm um, sunrise photo, and the golden works very well. So you can go through them um, by clicking through them like this or just scrolling down. If you want to compare one to the next, you can make what's called a virtual copy. Okay? You can do that by right clicking on your thumbnail and choosing create virtual copy. Right? Or I'm going to do it with the keyboard shortcut so you can see. So it's command or control on a PC apostrophe. Right? And what happens is it makes another little thumbnail that you can go back and apply a different effect to. Let's go back and do that vintage one again. That's kind of cool. Okay, so then you can just compare them side by side in your in your library module and see which one you like better. So you haven't actually duplicated your file. You've only created a thumbnail so you can see how the effects are, are working and you can ultimately end up decide to export, export both of them. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's how presets work, right? And how they are applying these things is they're adjusting different settings. So this one is adjusting the tone curve, right? It's also adjusting some saturation, some luminance, and some hue inside the HSL sliders. Right? It's also applying a split tone. So it's doing quite a few different things inside of this one preset. Okay? Some apply just one effect. Okay? It's also adding a little bit of a vignette. Okay? If you want to see before and after to see what it looked like, okay, I'm going to go back to my original one, use your backslash. So it's right above your return key and below your delete key. Backslash shows a before and after. Okay? So that's how the picture was shot right out of camera and that's with the preset. Okay? Now you can also adjust things once you have applied a preset. So let's say I decide, okay, this is a little too bright, I'm going to darken the whole picture a little bit, or I just want to bring my highlights back into control. Okay? So I can do that, and maybe I want to punch up my shadows a little bit. Okay? So you can tweak them. So it's not the end product, it's just a starting point many times by clicking on the presets. Let's take a look at another one. Let's see what's in the other set. Okay. Okay, so there are some duo tones. Let's pick an image that's going to give us a nice duo tone. Okay, there's some nice black and whites. Okay, so I've got some old things that we photographed in this ghost town. This is from a recent trip to Drumheller. I'm going to go find a nice image of um, something old and rustic. Uh, let's see. How about an old camera? Kind of applicable for us. Okay, so you can choose these black and whites again by just hovering over them, and your thumbnail will update. Okay, as I scroll, you can see it's subtly changing. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see the thumbnail. Okay, it's subtly changing. Okay, that one looks nice and it looks like a nice one. So I'm gonna pick that one. Okay got a nice punch to it, got a nice contrast. Let's have a look what this one is doing. Okay, so it's adding a little bit of exposure, contrast, increasing the shadows, brightening up the blacks, and adding some clarity. Okay, looks like it's made a custom curve as well. Okay. It's added a custom black and white mix, and it's added just a tiny bit of split toning to give it the tiniest little bit of warmth. Okay. So it, this one's also reducing the noise a little bit. Okay? So there's many different things that one preset can apply. Okay? You may find that as you scroll through your panels on the right, it's doing a number of different things. Okay? So a lot of reds, black and whites in here. Punchy sunset. Okay, do I have a sunset? Let's see what we can apply to a sunset. Okay. Now I'm going looking images, looking for images to apply these to. Right? You would be generally going to be choosing something that you've already worked with. Okay? So I've got an image here of a sunset. It's kind of lackluster. Let's see if this can punch it up at all. Okay? So punchy sunset. Let's see what that does. Okay, it does indeed. It adds some nice clarity, some vibrance. Okay? 
even more. Okay, so it does do a nice job of punching up the sunset. Warmer sunset. That's very nice. Right? So you can stop there or you can tweak your sliders a little bit more. Right? So let's say I decide I want to tweak my sliders a little bit and then once I've done that I'm happy with it you can export your file. Okay? You can also make a new preset. So if you decide that you really like it tweaked a little bit, maybe the original one had too much contrast, you don't want so much contrast, right? or maybe you want the exposure turned down a little bit. Okay? Let's go back to a medium a linear contrast. We want a little more detail. Okay, So if we want to save a new one, what we're going to do is there's a folder down here called User Presets comes with Lightroom automatically. Now I have a whole bunch of others that you'll see that I've imported. Okay. To create your own preset, all you need to do, and let's make note of which, which one this is. Okay. This one was Warmer Sunset. Okay. Is you click on the little plus sign next to the presets and let's call it Warmer Sunset uh, Darker. less contrast. Okay, so we know that it's the original one minus the things that we've adjusted to it. Okay, so the things that we want to copy we could check all. Okay, so you can decide when making a preset what things you want to apply, so which sections of your sliders you want to apply to your preset. Okay, in this case we're going to choose all and create it. Now let's say we want to create another preset. Let's say we like to do black and white and we want to create something that looks like a nice sepia tone like this. Okay, so <clears throat> in my develop module let's take a look at where you make split tones is in the split toning panel. Okay, surprise. I find if you want a really nice warm black and white okay, and nice clean highlights, I will add color to my shadows and not to my highlights. So I keep my highlight saturation at zero. Okay, that's over here on the right. Keep my saturation on my highlights at zero and I'm going to take my saturation on my shadows up a little bit. In this case I find a nice black and white uh, brown tone is usually between 40 and 50. If you want to see what color is applying, when you first open this panel it you don't see any color. So if you want a little trick, hold down the Alt or Option key and when you press on the hue slider, I'm pressing on my mouse and drag it up and down, you'll actually see the color at 100% saturation. Okay, so you can find a nice tone that you like. It's a little bit orange. Okay. Find a nice tone that you like. Then when you let go of the Option key, okay, it goes back to black and white and you can adjust your saturation to add it just a little bit more subtle. Okay. So in this case, let's go back to about 30 and we're going to make a chocolate brown preset. Okay. Now when you're doing a split tone, okay, I'm going to call it chocolate brown tone. Okay. Now this time I'm only going to apply split toning and the process version. Okay, you always want to make sure that you have the same process version. Okay. You may choose to apply the black and white mix or the black and white treatment. So what will happen is if you apply this on a color image, it'll just add warmth to the background. It'll add warmth to your shadows, but it won't turn the picture into black and white. So if you want to turn it into black and white at the same time, you want to check that off as well. If you're already applying it to a picture that is black and white, it will just give you the brown tone. Right? So you could save it either way. Right? and it just warned me that I already had one of that name which I created in the classroom the other day so I just overwrote it. Okay so let's say you want to export some of these presets that you've made. So these are some that I have made previously. Okay. In your little you, presets panel, okay, this is here on the left that I'm scrolling through, just click on the one that you want. Now right click it will bring up a little menu okay, and underneath down the bottom here is export. Okay, unfortunately you have to do them one at a time. Okay, so what I would do is make a little folder to put them in and then save them in there. 
and if you're sharing with a friend you have to unfortunately do that one by one and then zip them together as a file and send the zip file and then they would do the same thing on their end unzip it and install them just like we did at the beginning okay all right so I, i'm gonna undo this preset right so that in a nutshell is importing using and exporting and sharing your presets, creating your own. Okay, so that should give you a basis of using Lightroom presets. There's a lot of really good ones available on the internet. Um, the ones that we were just playing with were created by Craft and Vision. They just came out. Craft and Vision are a great resource for um, ebooks in the five to ten dollar range. A lot of great information. These presets come with a PDF book. Okay. They come with a little PDF guide that shows you each of the presets, what they do, um, before and afters of each one. So this one comes with 36 presets. As you can see on the cover, I'll just scroll through a little bit. It shows you how to install them and it shows you before and afters of all of the different presets. So there's the black and white series, various different duotones or split tones golden hour that we used. Okay, so you can see kind of quickly what types of images each of the presets might apply to and might work well for. Okay. So it's a really nice comprehensive PDF that comes with the presets so that you can see what they look like uh, when you apply them. So I hope that's been helpful and I will see you on the internet. Take care.